The General Assembly has voted to override Governor Andy Beshear's vetoed redistricting maps. Fox 56 Capitol reporter Bodie Brooks has the details. Once again, we're going to Frankfurt. House Bill 2 is finally passed, the veto of the governor notwithstanding. Less than a day after issuing two vetoes, quick action by the GOP to override. Governor Andy Bashir explaining his decision. I believe that they are unconstitutional um, and, and uh, a clear example of political gerrymandering. I believe that voters should choose their elected representatives. Elected representatives should not choose their voters. But with a simple majority vote, the GOP dominated legislature moving to make the maps law. Despite the governor's specious veto language. By specious, I mean it sounds plausible, but it is in fact not true. This map meets all constitutional and statutory requirements. The two maps on the table cover House districts and congressional districts. The governor did not take action on the Senate map. Compare the Supreme Court map, which I signed, with the congressional map, and I think you see uh, the, the difference. Despite an overwhelming majority, not all Republicans supporting each override. I've talked to people in, in my district. I currently cover five counties. The input that I've gotten back on this particular map has been negative. And in my prospective Senate district, I'm going to be representing a district that has five different congressmen. And it's just not acceptable. In Frankfurt, Bodie Brooks, Fox 56 News.